Why hello there. <laughs> um, yeah, it is your boy Kazo, and today I'm going to be talking about Star God Lisa. And I'm actually going to be a bit of the Antichrist in today's video. I'm going to be going against the grain, against the narrative, and I'm going to be giving you my thoughts, uh, what you can expect with Star God Lisa, a little bit of the should you summon. Uh, pe people that have watched my earlier videos already know what the hell I'm going to say. Let's get this get this get the should you summon out of the way because it's super easy. Are you a collector? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, you're just gonna summon on her anyway, aren't you? No, then you're gonna move on to the next one. Do you want her? Yes or no? No, then don't do it. Yes, boom. Are you a meta slave? Yes, then get her. No, then did you answer the other one? Do you want her? Yes, no. Do you see how easy this is? It's all about critical thinking. You know, thinking on your own. The five star units, the Awoken characters are dookie. They're not going to carry the banner. You're not going to get these characters and be like, oh my god, my game has changed. Especially if you got a couple of super Woken units beforehand. You're like me. You most likely already have these characters. I know, I did see, I'm not going to name any names, but I did see a fucking goofy video where it was like, Ayo man, we got drama coming out about Star Guy Lisa. And I'm over here, I watched the video I'm, the whole time. It's like, why is it this long? And no, there's no fucking drama. This is ridiculous. It's just, it's just like, it's, it's literally just people being chronically online to not understand that translations can be different. And the fact that, uh, Star God Lisa's name was never Star God Lisa to begin with. And it all comes down, and I can get a little bit into the, the, the workings of Japanese and shit, but people don't watch me for that. Bottom of the line, how did they get to Sublime Supernova Leva? Leva? Lisa? How did they get there? Two kanji exist in Lisa's name. It's Kami and Hoshi. Hoshi means star and Kami means God, right? You slap them together, you put or and you read them individually. God, star, put star in the front, star God Lisa. There you go. That's where we got that from. But it is not actually Kami Hoshi Lisa, is it? No, it's Jinboshi Lisa. Right? And you read that and that gives you a different meaning because it's not actually Star God Lisa. It's like godly star or starry god Lisa, whatever, right? Something like that. And you know, it's super easy when you start working it like what what do people say are godly like man that's sublime work excellent work that's godly work right there sublime stars supernovas galaxies you see where they get this name it, it just makes sense when you start thinking about it you know it's kind of ridiculous as well when you're like oh that name makes no sense and you're like yeah man i'll, I'll agree it kind of don't make no sense but you know what doesn't make sense is Dark Celia's name being called Ruthless Demon Divine Celia and her being a human. Enough with the drama, enough with the hoopla, enough of the dirty barnacles here. Let, let, let's just look at the let's look at the login bonus. I have not seen 50 crystals in ages. 50 crystals were back in Grand Summoner's golden days, back when, you know, we had the Blood Knights coming out, when everybody wanted Vox. Now, we're going to look at Lisa here, because... I don't know, maybe you didn't look at the kit because I'm over here looking at Global News. They never put the damn kit in these in these things anyways. This thing right here is going to lower the magic res by 50% and it does not stack with irons right here for 25 seconds. Bam, there we go. Uh, her skill is going to increase all arts gauge right here by 30 and then for 8 seconds it's going to increase all allies arts gauge by 3. I don't think it stacks with Victoria at all. This is going to increase OLI's equipment CT speed by 60% and light damage by 150% for 30 seconds. This is her auto recast ability. Oh, you just got to hold it for like a second and it just gives you your equip back. Really good. It, it works really well with her. We're just going to use all the equips. Here we go. This is If she's at max HP, she's going to give everyone 300% magic damage boost. Pretty nuts. It is 150 better than Rin and Luvia. But it also is a HP dependent. So if you don't have a character that can heal Lisa, uh, you're just kind of in dirty barnacles. You're in hot water anyways. Is she the cream of the crop? Is she the character that's going to revolutionize your gameplay in Grand Summoners? Short of the answer is not really. And why am I being the Antichrist? Why am I not glazing this character? Why am I not just bowing down, sucking the dick, and gluck glucking away at the, at the fucking cream? I'm going to tell you why. It's because every character in this game, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, whether they're the quote-unquote best character in the game, requires you to have other characters alongside them. Lisa 
is a character that is really good when you have other characters to pair alongside her, like Ainz, like Narbaro, like the Emperor. And if you don't have these characters, she's just not going to perform at maximum efficiency. She's not going to clap the cheeks with maximum efficiency. If you don't got massive, massive, massive amounts of good magic equipment and good magic damage dealers, magic support... Lisa's is not actually going to be that insane for you. She's put in her niche, which is the magic, and put in the support all she got. She's going to be an excellent unit. Magic light teams, because that's where she goes hard, right? She had like Ilya, Narbro, like I said, Shaltir. Those characters, if you got them, they're going to go ridiculous. And if you got War God Fan and you got Fen Shorts, I'm just going to say, if you want her for the equipment CT, that's only 5% better. 10 seconds better. Depending on how you use Fen, if you use them for support, that's not. it doesn't matter. Because it's just going to be full uptime anyways lisa is a bit hit or miss for some people and i'm not sure i'm not gonna sit here and glaze this unit like a lot of people might my experience on jp using this character with some of the best units that pair along with her you might be disappointed